So today I want to go over DFS backtracking with simple graphs. So first of all, we're going to have to start with some vertices. We have V and W. Each V has a W, which is what makes it a graph. So we have 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 0, 2, 3, and 3, 3. Um, what we want to really think about these is that the connection that's happening is from 0 to 1, and you got one from 0 to 2, and we have one from 1 to 2, and so on and so on. Um, you will see, if you actually draw it out, that they actually connect in a, in a graphical manner, I believe. Not the prettiest graphical manner, but it is one that actually works. So we have 0 to 1, we have 1 to 2, we have two to three, and we have two to zero, and we have three to three. So this one just comes back around. Not the prettiest graph, but gets the job done. So what I like to do is I like to actually put these in buckets. So you see here, I've already set up these buckets. Um, these buckets, I want to point out they actually represent vectors because in each one of these V's you're going to put a W and that is the connection the V has to W. So every you'll see that zero has a one and a two because it does. Here's zero, here's one, here's two. Same thing with one. One has a two, one has a two, and it also has a zero. Um, two has a zero and a three. So here's two, zero, three, and then three only has three. Okay. So if you actually take a look at the code, it's over here. You will see that here's the vector I was talking about. And here's the, the two inputs that you want to put in. You have to put in the V and the W, and here's the way that you connect them. You connect them in an adjacent V you push back a W. So each one of these guys is gonna have one of these, right? So you have a V pushes back a W. Then you're gonna have your function, right? So you have your DFS function. Right here, what this DFS function mainly does, it creates um, a new unvisited bool. So if you actually take a look at it here, you have creates a bool pointer makes it over here a V and this is actually a big V because that is how many vertices are in there which is four and it says every visited I is equal to Z, uh, false which obviously if it was four is gonna create four of them and then it's gonna put them all false and then here's what the other magic happens so for if I is less than v then it moves his i and then here it makes sure right now that if it's false it's going to use this dfs utils going to put in an i visit it and then it's going to jump over to this guy all right so this guy what that's what this guy does is just the the utils i like to I like it whenever they do something like this, whenever they actually spread out a function instead of having a super huge function, you have a function that has, you know, the main thing that it does in the bottom and then the utilities that it actually goes through on top. That's kind of cool. So here it takes in an int V and then it actually says whether it's been visited, all right? So right here, the first thing that it goes through, it just goes ahead and puts it, yes, it's been visited and then it sees out that V. Here I have a list. This is just a link list that they have the, uh, in the actual STL, so you don't have to worry about making one. It's already there. Um, running through this code real quick, you know, so for every I that's adjacent to the beginning of V, if I is not the end of V, then you're going to move one. Okay? So it's just traversing through. If I is not visited, then you're going to go ahead and pick I and visit it. Okay? 
So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through this one one time just to make sure that we know exactly what's going on. So since this one right here doesn't actually have anything, uh, you will notice right here that it just runs. It will just run with the first option that is given, which in this situation is zero one. So it's gonna go through zero, right? So at zero, it makes a new Boolean vector, right? And then in there, it puts in that I has been visited. Okay, so then now we we'll go up to here. So now you have the zero here. It has a Boolean it's, that's visited. Whoop, it made it true. Okay, and then the C out is zero. So we're gonna go ahead and put a zero here. So now it's gonna go through the through the vector. So, you know, every single other one in the vector. So now zero has a one. Okay. If one hasn't been visited, go ahead and do that. Same thing. It's gonna go through the same thing. Make an I, call it, you know, put it as visited. Over here, it's true. Yes, see out, one. But you see that one, not only is it one, it also has a two. That's the connection between these two guys. So now you go to one, which has a two, because it's not the end of the list. So then it goes to two, visit it. Oops, sorry about that. Two, visit it. And then now we're gonna go ahead and put two here. And you see that two actually has zero and three. Zero has already been visited, so you don't have to really worry about zero, but three has not been visited, so you have to go to three. So now we're gonna go to three, which is right here. Create a new Boolean for that guy, and say, is that been visited? Yes, now it has. Put a little three out here. And now it's gonna check to see whether or not it's the end of the list. Three only has three to check through. So that actually means that we're at the end of the code. So that means that this guy can be canceled out. So this guy, this section is uh, sectioned off. Then you'll see that we no longer have to go through this because this has already been done. All right, so then there's two. Everything, every single path for two has already been done. So the exact gets canceled out. Every single path for zero has been done. Therefore, here is your answer. Hopefully it wasn't too complicated. If it is, just talk to me. I'll try to fix it or try to make a new video that's better. This is just the first attempt of this one. Once again, here's the code. This code is only a piece code. Is the actual important functions in the DFS. There's actually a class going on here as well. All of this is going to be in Geeks for Geeks. Take a look. Uh, one more time, just so you guys can take a look. Alright, have a great day.